I'm here. Hey. Um, I, I think this is your time. <laughs> okay, then I will share my screen and uh, talk a little bit about the Identify and Discovery Working Group, which was one of the original working groups that was uh, started when DIFF itself was founded. So there's quite some history. The idea is um, here. Here's some content from the from the charter. So the scope of the working group is everything related to decentralized identifiers, uh, specifications, implementations, test suite, um, topics around discovery, security, trust, and identify infrastructure. Also, work on concrete DIT methods and uh, just specs and, and code that are somehow related to, to identifiers. The, the basic idea from the beginning um, has been that identifiers are the basis for everything else, right? You, you need something to refer to things, to persons, organizations, objects. Uh, without identifiers, you can't really build any higher layer uh, protocols or relationships or interactions, so I, identifiers and discovery as the basis for, for a lot of other things. Um, here is a list of some of the uh, current work items or things that uh, the working group has been uh, working on and, and uh, discussing. Uh, there's also a list with the, with the corresponding links in the uh, GitHub repository, like other working groups. Uh, this one also has its own dedicated GitHub repo. Uh, with all the all the links to the mailing list, uh, Slack channel, uh, meeting page, and so on. And here's a list with the with the work items. Uh, there's some code. Um, the Universal Resolver is a is a relatively well known and uh, successful project. We had another uh, session about uh, that an hour ago. Uh, Universal Registrar, which is complementary, which is a, sim a similar idea. Then the number of uh, reusable open source libraries, uh, did common, Java, did common, .NET, uh, generic implementations of, of DITs. Uh, there's also some JavaScript code for DIT resolution. There is code for a JSON-LD document loader. So these are reusable, reusable libraries that can be, uh, can be integrated with other things. Then um, in, in the working group, there are some specifications so that the peer method has been has been contributed, which uh, plays a central role in in, in DITCOM, especially DITCOM V1. Uh, I think in DITCOM V2, which uh, did peer is um, still very very important, but uh, DITCOM V2 also supports other DIT methods. But uh, nevertheless, as, as we all know, DIT peer has been a very influential piece of work. I think uh, there's also the the well-known DIT configuration that's that's a specification for associating DITs and other data with uh, with web URLs with web origins. So you can just from a domain name from a from a web origin. Uh, then there's uh, Carry, which is about to become its own uh, working group. Sam uh, will talk about it right after after this session. I, I think a uh, initial version of a charter for making this its own uh, working group yeah, is in is in progress. Um, there are a lot of repositories already for specification and and code. We have a, a repository with uh, which is just documentation, which is just a set of of links and uh, pointers, and also some some concrete code uh, related to a secret recovery key, key sharing, key recovery. And uh, the latest uh, latest edition, a uh, Rust implementation of did key by uh, Thomas Love from Trinsic. And uh, we also have a repository where we uh, collect extensions or uh, potential extensions to the did core specification. You, you may know that uh, in the W3C did working group, uh, there's the did core specification, but there's also an, a registry for extensions. And we said we will start our own repository in case diff wants to uh, 
create and register extensions to the TIT core specification. Um, Sci-Tree uh, used to be a, a work item of this group and by now also has become its own working group, uh, just like what uh, Carrie, Carrie is about to do. So in, in, in many ways, this uh, working group is, has always been quite diverse. Uh, so it's not just focused on one thing, right? One, one deliverable, but we tend to have a lot of different topics. And uh, sometimes we have just some ad hoc uh, topics that we, that we talk about that come up during the, the weekly calls. Here's some, just some uh, additional topics that I found from, from the last few months of the, of the meetings. Things we end up talking about, uh, web ID, web browser support for deeds, uh, deed related functionality, key recovery, deed deactivation, deed, deed parameters, uh, different implementation initiatives on, on deeds. But also this one tends to come up quite a bit, deed method usability, deed analytics. A lot of people are overwhelmed by the list of did methods that are that are out there, and so there's interest in trying to review them or uh, or um, categorize them using, for example, the did rubric work uh, that also comes out of the W3C did working group. And earlier today, also Eric uh, Welton, I think he's not here, but he had a fantastic session earlier today about did method um, analytics, um, and I think he will have more to share about that very soon. So that's also something that's that's needed. So in general, then again, we uh, work on a lot of different things. We talk about a lot of different topics. Anyone is uh, welcome to, to submit topics or code to work on. And uh, maybe a I have one one more slide about the universal resolve and universal registrar because those are uh, the maybe the initial projects that it was was the, some of the initial focus of the working group were were these two projects um, an abstract universal interface for operations on on deeds there are these two uh, services and this one here is. It's an official diff service, right? So it's hosted by by diff as a service for the for the community to uh, resolve deeds across. I think between thirty and forty different did methods. We have a lot of um, additional ideas. Um, for example, a didcom binding, a didcom interface to this uh, universal resolver service, uh, support for multiple representations uh, of the documents. Um, and I will share one one thing that I worked on the last few days. That's that's very new. I haven't shared that yet. I, I tried to uh, to look at the, the number of deed methods over time, and I, I analyzed the uh, the commits in the in the GitHub repositories first. First in the W3C deed spec registry. So these are these are the numbers uh, of deed methods over time that are listed in the, the W3C did method spec registry. Uh, the, the scale here, the, the labels here are not very, very helpful. This, these are like random, random dates, but, uh, uh, but you see uh, right now they're up to 80 did methods. And then, then I did the same thing also for, uh, to analyze the drivers that were, that were added to the diff universal resolver to see over time how many DIN methods are, are supported by the universal resolver. And then I try to put that into, into one chart. So this is, is interesting. You will, you will see that, uh, first of all, the initially a few years ago, the, the DIF universal resolver uh, actually supported, had implementations for DIN methods before they were even uh, registered in some kind of registry. And then the, the second thing that's interesting is that by now it, uh, the implementation of the universal resolver supports uh, roughly speaking half of the of the non did methods in the in the registry. So yeah, that's also something that we've been looking at in the in the group to get some metrics or analytics or 
like I said, this kind of the method usability and analytics. It's an interesting topic again. Eric Eric Welton uh, is doing some really cool work on that. Uh, but uh, but again, in in general, we have very diverse agendas and. Here are all the all the links uh, to the GitHub repo. Uh, basically, here you here you find everything. The, the working groups GitHub repo has a link to the agenda and all the all the other places. Any any questions? No questions. Well, then. Um, Are you able to post a link to this document? I can't see it in the chat. That'd be amazing. Uh, I can post the link to the to the slide. The that if you mean the the diagram with the with the din methods, that's a that's a local uh, that's a local file that I have here. I haven't published it anywhere yet, but I. I, I I'll publish it um, either in this I guess in in this working group maybe we will do a, a blog post uh, about that and on the diff on the diff medium. Uh, sorry, right now this this isn't online anywhere, but but I think we can publish this as a as a blog post and the slides I just you know, posted them in the chat. I think that there's then also room for another Q and A Q and A question, a Q and A session later after after Carrie, which I think is uh, starting right now. So thanks and see you see you in the ID working group. <laughs>